Okay, so for this one, we um, are going to find the vertex. We've found the vertex. It's pretty easy when the equation is the a times x minus h squared plus k thing. You can read it right off. And um, it's unnecessary, though, for us to have to convert this to that, although you could do that if you wanted to. But we can find the vertex. Once you know the vertex, you can find out all the other characteristics, the line of symmetry and the max and min and all that stuff. But from this, um, the key to this is the minus b over 2a. Minus b over 2a. That gives us the x. Okay, and then once we find x using that, all we do is plug in x here and here, the value that we get for this, and that gives us the y. And then that's our vertex, x comma y. So what do we have here? We need the b and the a. We don't even really need the c on this, huh? So here's a, that's number four. And here's our b, which is a 16. So that's what we're going to plug in to this. So let's put it here. We have minus something over to something. Okay, so then the top one is the B, that's the 16. And the bottom one is the A, that's the 4. Okay, so that looks suspiciously like 16 over 8. And 16 over 8 is 2, minus 2. So for our ordered pair, the x is minus 2. For the vertex, now we need to come up with y. So again, all we have to do is to substitute minus 2 in for x up here. So we'll go ahead and put that. We'll put y equals 4 something squared plus 16 times something plus 20. And the something is minus 2. So we'll put a minus 2 in there and a minus 2 in there for x and see how it plays out. So, minus 2 squared is, 2 times 2 is 4, so that gives us 4 times 4 for the first thing here. And then we have minus 2 times 16, that's uh, minus 32, minus 32, and then finally we have plus 20. Okay, so here is 16. And then we have plus 20, and then we have minus 32. So 16 and 20 is what? 36? And 36 minus 32 is 4. So therefore, it would seem that our vertex is minus 2, comma, 4. And if they asked us, which they didn't, what's the line of symmetry? It would be what? x equals minus 2. And if we look at our original, we did not have a plus. I mean, we did not have a negative at the front, so it's a positive. So that means the parabola does one of these, which means the tip or the vertex, this guy here, is at the very bottom. So that's a minimum. So then the minimum would be this guy here, the 4, if they asked us that. But they didn't, so here's our answer, it would appear, minus 2, comma, 4.